The following video was kindly sponsored by Birch Living. Welcome back to your tone house. Hi everybody. Remember uh, last weekend or last video I should say, uh, we did this molding here for the front door and we're gonna keep, keep that whole train moving. We're gonna be coming over here to the hallway and we're gonna be trimming out these doors. This, uh, this section is oops, probably Sarah and mine's both kind of favorite spot in the house. Just because you has got these cool old doors, the stone wall, the, the, the beams that we put in. Um, just a lot of a lot of thought went into a 30 square foot section. I want to mold this out to where it looks like one one thing. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it though. It doesn't have to be a 45, and it would be a wide piece here. Mom, I could try to mold in the corners. Like if I just have molding here, then there's gotta be something here. So yeah, we, we have some thinking to do. We have some planning to do. But we'll figure it out. As soon as we do, we'll let you know. It's honestly what takes the longest. Yeah. And no matter how much you think about something, you, we change our minds. Well, so. it has to evolve as we get into it. Mm -hmm. Because of this gap right. I got, mm -hmm. it's going to have to be here. It'll go into, into it. Which is fine. Which would look fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. It would still stick out that much, but it wouldn't look like that if it's molded. So six and a half. Six and a half by six and a half. I'm just going to go make that. It's not bad for just a test piece. You can kind of see what I'm going for here. Should really tie the corner together. I would feel it all better and everything if uh, if we end up using it. All right, let's go see what that looks like. You can kind of see what we're going for here. Just something that ties that whole corner in together. And then by building the outside of it out, it means the baseboard that will go on this wall will be just a little bit shorter than the plinth or whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. I've never really seen anything like what I'm making. Makes me feel like I'm probably doing something wrong. I think it's gonna look good. So I guess I just gotta make another one and I better hurry up and do that before I forget how I did it. I've made two basically identical things now. I'm gonna hand them off to the person in charge here, the sanding and wood filler manager. And now that you're gonna be doing this, I'm gonna move on and make, I gotta make two plinths. Out of the blue, do not tell me what to do. We're doing something pretty special today. Yeah. Or should I say tonight? 
We have this really nice bed here that, well, I should say Jace has this really nice bed here that we got from Birch Living. And, you know, we've never really been able to sleep on it. And we've talked about it. And we're thinking that tonight might be the night. Yeah. I'm staying here with Dad because I want to get used to my bed. And so when I move here, um, I'm going to be pretty used to it. Yeah, so it's not so new when we move. It just makes me sleepy laying on it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting sleepy? It makes me yawn. Oh, well, on. let's go do something fun then. Because it's not time for bed yet. Nope. You've never really been up to the house before, like, later in the day. No, without Mom or Leo. It's nice up here this time of day because the sun it sets and it's really pretty. Birch Living, if you're not familiar with them, they are the high-quality mattress-in-a-box company. They construct well-made, eco-friendly mattresses that are shipped right to your door. Birch mattresses are made from four materials sourced straight from nature. Organic latex, New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. And if you're new to the channel, Sarah and I are very conscious and very careful of what we give our children and what we keep in our house. With each purchase of a Birch mattress, you get two free EcoRest pillows. And these unbelievably soft pillows are made from what? Bottles. Recycled bottles. Jace did not know that. I just told him. And it doesn't seem believable because they're so soft and yeah. squishy. The pillows are also certified organic by OTCO, which is one of the companies that basically certify things to be organic, truly organic. One of the nicest things that makes buying a mattress online so nice is that they just ship them right to your door. And they come in a fairly small box, really easy to get upstairs at least. And then there's this amazing unpackaging event. Do you remember when we did that? Yeah, it almost hit me. It yeah, like, it just kind of like once it starts opening up and going, it goes. Yeah, I was like. Yeah, so it really, it's a fun experience. Whoa! Do you think it'll be too heavy for us? I no. don't think so. Cool. Wow, Jace, look at that. <laughs> Does it? Oh, it fits good, doesn't it? It looks so good. Can I get on it? You <laughs> sure can. The flip side of buying something online is you feel like you can't return it. But with Birch Living, you get a 100 day trial. If you don't like the bed, you can return it. It's, uh, you get a full, full refund, full refund. And the bed also comes with a 10 year warranty. Oh, I need to wash my teeth. Um, you want to do that first? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's what I always do every night. Okay. You'll be able to brush your teeth in your bathroom. <laughs> first time, right? <laughs> Perfect. While Jules and Nick were going to have to fight over the covers and the other double bed. You have your own bed. Yeah. Are we going to fight over the covers tonight? No. <laughs> I hope not. We're gonna go then, and we'll see Bye. you in the morning. Bye. Good night. Love Good you. Night. Love you. We made it. Yep. We stayed all night. Um, it's probably like 8.30 in the morning right now. Uh, what did you think of the bed? Great. It was like so soft and comfortable. My head kept on sinking into the pillow. <laughs> it was like so comfy. The pillows are super, super soft. For anybody out there interested in trying a Birch Living bed, remember, you get the 100-day free trial. You can find the link in the description and um, give it a try because I'll tell you, if you're, if you're in the market for a mattress, uh, they're a really high-quality mattress. It's... It's not like these other ones that you see on Amazon and everything. These are very nice, very well made, and the company has been just really, really good to work with also, and I think that customer service means something in today's world. Um, but that's it. We're going to go get Mommy and everybody and come back and do some work. Okay. Thank you so much for sending me this nice bed box. <laughs>
Bye. It's a pretty simple little design. This is exactly what I did in the bathroom upstairs. They look good. I like them. So those are a little thicker than what the trim's going to be. Yep. But it'll be the same width. I need it! Right. Yep, same exact width. I think I need it. And I like it. It's a pretty simple look, and you know, the the rectangular look kind of matches the doors. And we just need to kind of figure out what we're gonna do for the for the top, which I think is gonna end up being just a header board. Oh gosh, we have such a yeah. There's more to think about. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. My problem is, is uh, it, it's, it's so much work to make any little piece of molding when I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it. Like, you know, 15, 20 minutes just to make one thing. I've got this piece of wood up here and I don't think I showed doing this yesterday. That piece of wood isn't level. It might not be straight. I have no idea. But what we did is we put it kind of where we would want it for these door reveals. And, and it, looks, it looks good. What's off is that my ceiling, I think my ceiling or my floor upstairs, you know, the beams, they probably aren't perfect. And, and I'm seeing it now. Because I have a fairly level flat floor. I built everything up to these beams. And now we're seeing that the beams are off a good it's like an inch and a half. And that's in a eight foot span. And you know, you come out of the bathroom and you look down that line, you're gonna see that. Same as when you come from this door behind me from the kitchen, that will be the kitchen. You come into this hallway, you're gonna, it's just gonna stick out like a sore thumb. And that's another reason why we're caring so much about this space. This is a space where we will walk every day, multiple times a day. And if something here doesn't look right to where it bothers me, well, that's gonna bother me. So we're taking our time. We never intended to have this project be fast. You know, we, we wanted to take our time and do it the best that we could do it and do it the way we wanted to do it. So I would rather take my time and do a closet trim the way I want um, versus just slapping some wood up there and then never really being happy with the results. I think that makes sense to most of everybody.
So I'm really setting up for some pretty beefy corner molding here. And then there'll just be a piece of molding that goes across the top up here. And then that will tie into the door casing with a, yeah. I think it's gonna look cool. I hope so, because that little piece right there just took me probably an hour and a half to make. <laughs> These are some of the nicest things I think I've made. There's just zero tolerances. I didn't even have to wood fill my cuts here. Um, I must be getting it better. I must be learning something. This one's being a little weird. All right, the hard part's probably done. Okay, truth be told, I can still tell that this side over here is a lot thinner than that side way over there, but it does look a lot better that I broke it up with those rosettes, so I'm really happy with it. Now I just gotta do the molding on the corners and in the middle.
Still working on these closets today. Should be done though. Shouldn't take too long to do what I need to do here. I guess the first thing I need to ask myself and find out is do I wanna have fancy corner pieces or kind of fancy corner pieces or not fancy corner pieces? Corners could be just square stock cut to the right size and mitered around. Next option would be for me to make more of this fancy trim, which I have some off cuts right here, and put that around the edge. Oh, that looks cool. I like it on the one side, but not on the other side. It makes this look funny up there. Hmm. Another option would be to take like my normal door casing stuff and put it a certain way. Like uh, you'd have it fancy through the inside of the door, which that looks really, really good to the door. And then like there, and then it would just be like square stock in the middle. <sighs> I think that's what I want to do. It's been some time since I last recorded, and it's because I've decided to get real crazy with this corner, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Um, this, is, this is technically one of my pieces right now, and as you can see, I use the casing profile, but I didn't go as deep as I normally did. I kept it a little shallow. It just changes the look a little bit on these inside. Hopefully you can see that. I was using lots of test pieces just to kind of get an idea because the hard part of this is I'm cutting a 45 degree miter for this whole corner. These are my test pieces. I'm trying to get these two pieces to go together at like a, a 45. So this is gonna be the corner. It's so hard to show. Any hoo-ha, when you cut a 45, you have to be careful not to cut your piece of wood too short because I want a certain reveal up here in this top right hand corner too. So that's where this piece comes into play. This is another test piece of my more finished piece of wood over here. I cut the 45 here and if that goes up there like that, it has a little bit of a reveal on this right hand side. And then I've got this other test piece here. You can see it looks pretty dang good. That's this one piece. I don't know how long it took me. Maybe 30 minutes. The other one will probably take me a little bit less because I kind of know more what to expect. Um, and then if I like it, I have to do the other side. So that will be two more pieces the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I do this to myself other than I just think it looked cool and I want to take my time and do something that's unique and special. You find it on 
Amazing grace, how sweet the sound is to me. I have seen a miracle. I have seen a miracle. The earth is here. It's here for you. Okay, so it didn't turn out perfect. Perfect. That's okay. Um, I didn't think this mitered corner would turn out perfect, perfect, but that's why they make wood fill. I did have to fill it just a little bit through here. Once that's hardened up, I'll be able to kind of sand that corner a little bit by hand. This, this will all be, uh, you know, painted and everything, but you can totally see how the profile is. And if you're wondering, you know, there will be some molding that goes up through here and the baseboard. The gap that I had to wood fill is right here and that's uh, probably less than a sixteenth of an inch, if you can see it. Once that's sanded flush and primed and painted, I really don't think it will be that noticeable. Yeah. All right, well, if I get lucky, I'll be able to get the other side done pretty quick. That was so good! Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it turned out good. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it, but I love it. This is why I just trust your vision. It hasn't worn our lungs, I'm hanging by a song, but it's enough. I know one day I'm gonna find it, but everyone until then.